In this video, we will learn how to configure the logo. Here is the logo. It is the default sample logo and you should replace it with your own. I will show you the folder where this logo is located. Logo is an image file called logo.png. You can replace this image with another image file to set the logo for your website. Or you can manually choose your own logo via template parameter logo. In the logo parameter, you also can set link and slogan for your logo. You can set absolute link or relative link starting from Joomla root folder. Leave it empty if you do not want your logo to be clickable. Remember to save all your changes. Now we will go to the front end to see the changes. We will refresh the page to see the new logo of the website. As you see, the logo is changed. And mouse over the logo, you'll see the text demo. Click to the logo to see where it links us. This is the home page of JoomlaShine.com. Back to the administration, you can also choose your mobile logo file. I will show you the folder where this mobile logo is located. You also can choose your own mobile logo file. One more function you can see in this logo settings parameter is enable colored logo. There are two values for it. Now I set it to no. I will show you the difference. Click refresh to see the default logo back. Focus on the logo. Now I will change the color of the template in the front end. For example, I choose the orange color. The color of the logo is still the black color. Nothing happens. Let's go back to the back end. Enable colored logo. Refresh and you will see the difference. The logo is changed. The color text of Epic is changed to orange. We will try another color. The logo is changed with the same color as the background template. That makes your website more beautiful. In fact, we use another logo for another color of template. Each color of template has separated folders, and you only need to put your color logo file to the correct folder. So we finished logo configuration. See you at the next video when I will show you how to configure the layout. Thank you for watching.